Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it happens to be for you. Welcome if you've never been here before. Welcome back if you have. I am Whitney and I do 20 minute makeup looks. I love bright colorful eyeshadow looks, but I also do a lot of neutral stuff. So hopefully a little bit for everyone. The most important things to me is that they are simple, they are wearable, and they can be done in 20 minutes or less for the most part. Sometimes I talk a lot and my video runs over 20 minutes, but the makeup doesn't usually take that long. Um, so today we're just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids with my Morphe Filter Effect Concealer. Boom, I don't know if that's focused enough or not, but I'm tired of holding it up there. And I'm gonna blend that out with my Moda Glow Brush. If you have not checked out Moda Glow Brushes yet, or Moda Brushes in general, I highly recommend it. Super affordable, super amazing quality. They've got lots of different like collections. So if you like black brushes, or if you want, I got the clear ones. I've got some that are still the clear one, turquoise. I've got the neon ones. They just have a ton of variety, tons of collections. Again, super affordable and the quality is remarkable. Um, check them out, Moda, M-O-D-A, I think it's moda.com. I'm just using my glow brush to blend that out. Now, today we're gonna be doing a green eye. So I have these green little bug earrings. They got like a little locust or roach, probably a locust on them. And then I've got this silver chain necklace with the green stones. Both are Vera Wang from Simply Vera Wang. They're not like Vera Wang, Vera Wang. I ain't that fancy. Um, they're both from the Simply Vera Wang at Kohl's collection. So we're going to do some green eyeshadow to match up with those. I have lots of options for green. I've got this ColourPop. I've got this Huda Booty. Huda Beauty palette that I just had to have back in the day. And I just don't actually love it. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily do it for me. Um, let's see. What else do we got that's got green in it? You know what? Why don't we just make it work? No, I'm not going to make it work with that ColourPop palette because it's not going to do what I want. Oh! should have paid more attention in my Morphe video. Let's find a Morphe palette that's got some greens. So this is Up Till Dawn. Oh, there's some greens in there, but they're pretty muted. Nope, I should have known. Nope. Yes. 35B. Haha. -ha. What's this one? Nope. Not a green to be seen. So let's put these away. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be using Morphe and ColourPop today, I believe. And let's find a nice fluffy brush. Here we go. I will be using a Moda crease brush to get started. And Gonna do a quick blow off on this one. <sighs> a lot of powder. All right, so this is the Moda, or not the Moda, the Morphe 35B. Uh, this is the OG Color Burst palette. This is my very first ever Morphe palette. I've had this for like seven or eight years, and I love it. I don't use it as much as I used to because I've gotten the colors into other palettes, but this is a well loved palette. Um, I'm gonna start with the color, it's a nice neutral tan called Fairy. And I'm just going to use that to build a little transition over my eyelid and crease so that I have something to blend the color into uh, and it's not totally sticking to the concealer that I put on there. So I'm not expecting a ton of payoff on that. In fact, you can't see it at all, but it is there. All right, so we got like all shades of green here. So I'm going to start with this ColourPop palette. I'm going to use this sort of emeraldy color. It's called Scene. Okay. 
This is only like maybe the second or third time I've ever used this palette. I haven't had it for a super long time. It's called High Society, if you can see that. Um, as a redhead, I tend to wear a lot of green stuff. It even goes with my hair, even though it is Christmassy, but it just happens to work for me. So I saw this palette, I was like, oh, that's a nice, that's a nice set of greens. Now, I do have the Morphe Make and Bank palette, which is all greens, but it's not like kind of these bright greens, so I don't think it's going to work. I'm not even going to bother digging it out because I found what I need and I don't think that has what I want. Okay. Now there is a, excuse me, much darker foresty green in here. <laughs> it's called Forest, believe it or not. I'm going to do a couple of taps. That's from the Morphe palette. I'm just going to kind of dot that around this outer corner. And keep on blending. Okay. Next, I'm going to find me a flat brush. I'm going to use one that I've already used this week. Knock the color out. So I only have so many I need to buy more flat brushes. And... Trying to decide what to use. I'm going to come in with this color here. It is called apple cider. Although I don't think anybody's making apple cider out of green apples, Morphe. I'm just saying. And I'm going to put that on my lid. I should have probably gone back over with some concealer or white to give me a lighter base for that, but that's okay. It's still working. We're going to cover it up anyways. Okay. Now I'm going to do two things. want like a silvery shimmer on the inner corner Ooh. which I think I found in this BH Cosmetics palette that happens to be laying on my desk it's called Royal Affair it's got this nice eh, silver shimmer right there I just want that right there in that like first little third And then I'm going to come in with this brighter green shimmer here. And put that in the middle. I need to be brighter on that inner piece here. So I don't want that brush. 
I don't want that brush. Where's my pot brush? Go? Try to knock the green out of that. I'm trying to think about what I got here that might have what I want that won't require me to dig through a million palettes. We'll just try this silver again. Pack it on a brush and see if we can get a little more payoff. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's move on to liner. Uh, you know what? Let's just stick with what we've been using all week. This eyeline I define from Juvia's. Start with the left eye. Pressing the tip into as close to my lashes as I can get. Beautiful. That went really well. Okay, maybe I should just not talk through it. Flicks on each side. Looks fun. Okay. Hooray. I'm getting better at that liquid liner, so we just gotta practice. Okay, let's get in here and get our voluminous mascara from L'Oreal in Carbon Black. I think I might do something all purple tomorrow. We'll see. I don't really have purple jewelry though. But I think I can find something that will coordinate with purple eyeshadow. Or I could just wear no jewelry. I do have new jewelry coming and I'm so excited. 40% off coupon for Kohl's and of course I was like well I got it I may as well use it terrible logic that's how they get you uh, but I did go through the clearance jewelry and I found some pieces that I don't have yet that I would like to have um, one of them is these blue or greeny turquoisey chandelier earrings and I could not find the necklace that goes with it they are sold out I'm so mad I did get the bracelet though, which is not something I would typically buy. I don't wear a lot of bracelets, just mostly because you can't see my hands when I am on a camera, which is where I spend most of my time. But I'm hoping that maybe I can find a way to convert the necklace into, or the bracelet into a necklace, but I think it's like on a cuff and not like a flexible necklace. So I think I'm kind of SOL on that, but about it, we'll see. I can always return it if I change my mind. And I guess I could still randomly find the necklace in a store. I'm definitely going to keep looking. It's a... And the thing is, like, I believe the necklace was in my cart. And, like, I took it out. Because it was sold out. But then I was really upset. 
I like having the matching pieces. Uh, but the other stuff I got is all spiders, so I got it for spooky season. I had some really great spider earrings, and they're still selling them. I could have repurchased them, um, but I already lost one pair of them, so I was like, well, don't buy them again. You'll just lose them again. So I didn't, but I bought some different ones. So I will still have some spider jewelry for spooky season. I got a lot of spooky season jewelry. I think I'm going to start spooky season in September this year. Normally I wait for October, but I think I'll start it in September. So I'm grabbing some of the first green out of the ColourPop palette and going right here under my lashes. Going to repeat over here. Hello, kitty. My cat has decided to come here visit. <laughs> he just like rubbed his head on my back, and I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> it's my cat. He was very quiet. All right, I think that's the only green I'm going to put under. All right, so we used ColourPop today and some Morphe. Nice variety. Get that shoved back down where it goes. Oh, our drawer weighs like 25 pounds. All right, so we need to do chunks. Um, let's use this tart. Blush today, Amazonian clay, quirky. Using a real techniques buffing brush to apply that because that's what's handy. And I think this is what I used the last time I wore this blush. Since this has more of a corally tint versus a pink, I would not want to use my pink brush because my pink brushes are really pigmented from the Juvia's stuff. All right, so I will tone that all down with the powder. I'm not going to conceal today. I've got a decent night's sleep. Don't feel like messing with it. Also, we're running low on time, and I still have to do my brows. So we're going to just take our Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless or Powder and mattify our face and set what little concealer we do have under our eyes. Ooh, I'm digging this. Got some tendrils looking bitchy. All right, let's get them brows addressed. It should be so much easier if my brow pencil is where it should be. keeps getting put in my brush. This is the used brushes. It keeps getting put there and does not go there. Okay. Just use a little brush out and get them tendrils out of the way. And let's just darken these bad boys up a little bit. Okay, I am happy with those. They are there. <laughs> Just a quick little brush to blend that coloring in. Voila, okay, we got 30 seconds to pick a lip. First, lip conditioner. Second, uh, executive realness, Pat McGrath. Pink. Boom, and that's it. I did it in 20 minutes, woohoo! Now, the makeup's done, but let's take take some looks. 
So there is the eyes. Again, we got a silver shimmer on the inner inner third, green shimmer on the middle third, and then the out, outer corner is matte. So see, I still got some gaps between my lashes and my eyeliner on that side, but that's okay. Got a little bit of flick. Got the pink lips, glowy cheeks, dark brows. We have fun bug earrings and a coordinating necklace. All right, let's turn the light off. Open that curtain. I don't know why I can't remember to open that when I get started. So there is the natural light. All right, so that is our looks for today. I hope you like it. I am actually really excited with how it turned out. Um, yeah, so thanks for stopping by. Feel free to drop a comment, like, or subscribe. Check out my Instagram, also at Looks by Whitney. And hopefully we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.